The Jurimana, while answering queries about financial mismanagement of over 38.3 billion shillings meant for the recovery of Northern Uganda, said that he approached his boss for intervention upon realization that Geoffrey Kazinda was colluding with Ministry of Finance and Bank of Uganda officials to commit fraud. However, Mbabazi, Boch and Mposa reportedly convened a meeting in which they resolved that Kazinda should be retained. What kind of maneuver to the Prime Minister? Was there undue political influence from the Prime Minister in protecting the transfer of Kazinda? Because twice you found yourself in that situation. So what was the role of the Prime Minister in this? Prime Minister asked Boch, he said, Mr. Boch, has Kazinda committed any fraud? And Mr. Boch said, no, right on the Prime Minister. When he said that, then the Prime Minister said, then he should stay. If he has not committed any fraud. Otherwise, if he had committed a fraud, why would you transfer him to another ministry? Jirimana, however, revealed that most of the interactions to have Kazinda retained were transacted over the phone. It was written after I had talked to the Prime Minister. On the phone? On the phone, yeah. Yes. When asked about his participation in the meeting that resolved the retention of Kazinda at OPM as principal accountant, the Jirimana revealed that he was invited in the meeting when Mbabazi, Boch and Imposa had taken a decision to retain Kazinda. He described the meeting as instructive. Mr. Chairman, my participation in that meeting was limited. I found people had met. Part of the Auditor General's report alleged that there was resistance from the accounting officer to surrender documents to external auditors, which Bridgirmana refuted with evidence. In spite of the various requests and meetings the auditors have had with you and your staff, we are finding difficulties in accessing the required documentation and information, especially in the accounts department of your office. Then we continue and we say we shall therefore be grateful if you could prevail over your staff on the matter and ensure that the documents are availed. The Auditor General is here and I can assure you at no single time has the Auditor General come to my office to follow up audit work and they have not been he's here. All has been said and done, the prerogative of making a judgment on who messed up Ugandans in the OPM. We leave it to you. Timothy Spassi, Gestao Vision, Parliament.